Gas station workers are learning how to spot and stop human trafficking. The growing trafficking system flows through our area with traffickers often stopping at convenience stores. And News Channel 15's Chris Darby joins us now live from a Phil's one-stop location on Hillegas Road. So what are we learning about this today, Chris? Owners of several different convenience store chains met today and talked about the trafficking problem and came up with some ideas of how they hope to break that chain. People from Phil's One Stop, like the one here, Lassus Handy Dandy, JJ's, Macintosh Energies, Max Smarts, and others gathered for a petroleum retailer summit. They listened to the program director of Convenience Stores Against Trafficking. The campaign called In Our Backyard targets the trafficking problem, which is happening here at home. We're told trafficking is the second largest and fastest growing criminal enterprise in the world. Earlier this year, there were a few men convicted of trafficking here in Fort Wayne. They were visiting uh, Fort Wayne motels and bringing their victims there to be sold. This is a problem that is global, but it is also very local. Unfortunately, we realize that this is a growing problem. And I can't tell you how pleased I am that our convenience stores, which are truly the front door to our neighborhoods and our communities, are going to partner with us today. So how exactly will these stores help fight trafficking? Employees will be trained to look for the signs, and stickers will be posted inside connecting those who need help to the National Human Trafficking Hotline. Of course, 15 Finds Out has been investigating the human trafficking problem in our area. You can see several special reports on that topic right now on Wayne.com. Live at Hill, and Butler, Chris Darby, New Channel 15.